Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Nightcap Gamer. My name is Josh, and tonight we're playing some Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, it's a lovely day here in Texas. We uh, have got winter finally setting in. It's very cold, it's very rainy, and it's a perfect day to be playing some Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, we're back at the Prancing Pony Inn with our good friend Strider, uh, and apparently we have to take care of this Omdir situation. I'm very sad about this. Omdir's a nice guy, uh, from what I know about him. I mean, I don't know him that well, but... Um, I think he's an alright guy, and it, uh, it's pretty sad that we have to uh, <laughs> put him down, as it were. Uh, but we're gonna to go leave? do it. Uh, yes, Strider, I'm ready to leave. If you could not interrupt me anymore, though, that would be nice, because uh, that's very rude. Okay, here we go. Strider and the Rangers pursue their fallen brother Amdir to the Black Wolves camp, but not all is as it seems. Okay. There is evil afoot. Omdir's terror must end now. It is time for us to act. Okay, I'm ready to act. Strider. Langlin. Torthan. Man, he looks just like Halros, doesn't he? Hey. Halros? Strider, what's going on? Are they all brothers or something? Come on, Torthan. Torthan? Oh. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Torthan. Let's go. Come on. We have to find Omdir. Right. Oh, someone's coming. Let's sneak. That dwarf has gone mad. Okay, it's the it's the uh the dwarf. Oh look. Okay, Torthan, you take care of him. I'll be uh, I'll take care of this guy. Don't worry. Look, I'm not gonna let him out of my sight. Everything's good. You doing okay? Oh look, <laughs> I I slayed a brigand. I didn't really do anything, but um, I mean, okay. I wonder if we could get through this without killing any anyone. Torthan, maybe we don't have. Maybe we don't have to fight then. No? Okay. He's just a bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty ranger, isn't he? Oh, look. They're running away. Okay, Torthan. I guess we have to kill some of them. I mean, maybe. Maybe they don't want to fight. Maybe they just want out of here. Can we just give them a break? No? Look, this guy's scared too. <laughs> He's so afraid. Okay, look. Oh, look. There's like a cool archery range. You want to practice some, like, some some bow and arrow shooting stuff? Some archery? No? Oh, look, there's one back here. Does she not care? Oh, I guess she doesn't care. Oh, look, she's afraid, too. Gosh, all these brigands, they're, they're so afraid. What are they afraid of? Okay, look, he threw all the pokey things on the ground. They're like, what are they? They look like little ninja stars or something. Die in the name of the black world. Oh, look. What were you doing to this guy? Look, he's just sitting here. Hello? Well, he looks like that guy that was growling at me in the last episode. Okay. If, I, if we need rest... No, I, I'm actually okay. I'm actually okay, Torthan. Silently now. Darkness approaches. Okay. I mean, really, we're the ones approaching. Uh, I like that, though. I am the darkness. I approach. Do you think service to Angmar came without a cost? Oh, it's a black old informant. There's no need for concern yet. Hey! What is this? I found them after all. Oh no. It's Scorgrim. Scorgrim Mightiest. Remember him? He was the one that wrote the, uh, the letter to, uh, what was his name? Ulfar was a good guy. I can't remember the name of the, the bad dwarf in the Shire, but, um... He was the guy that wrote that letter, uh, wanting them to capture the cave troll, or whatever. Look at this. I'm- what is it? Halros, what's going on? I'm fighting, like, a skeleton? A barrow white? Oh, I got a new deed. This is not the end of our business here. Oh, what a- What a gruesome scene. The greatest evils may be behind this gate. Stay a moment. Oh, I do actually need- <laughs> I do need to rest. Let's- let's eat some pork sausage. Have some mushroom pie. Okay, Torthan. We're ready to go. I will not lose my nerve. I'm insulted that you would even suggest such a thing. Oh, you wanna race? You wanna race, Torthan? Pretty sure I'm faster than you. Oh! Oh no! Oh, I'm dear. Oh, oh, I'm dear. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Yogan, 
fools are too late. Leave Omdir alone. Okay, Yogan, I'm taking you out. I don't know who you are, where you came from, but you're going down. Go Ling Lin. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Oh, I'm um, dear. What the? I'm um, dear. I'm so sorry about this. I'm gonna have to backstab you. What have you become? Oh, I like those fancy robes. Can I, Torthan? Can I have these robes after he's, you know, gone? Look, here. I'll just take him. He's not gonna miss them at all. Oh. I guess they're gone now. Omdir and his beautiful red robes are gone. I would have looked really cool in those robes though, Torthan. It's a sorry day. Okay. It's a sorry day. The Nazgul have crossed the Aizen and are heading for the Shire. The hobbits must be quick-footed enough to escape the wrath of the Nine. And we can only hope that Frodo slips through the traps of the enemy. Yeah, well, I do hope that Frodo and Sam and the other hobbits are alright. I mean, I worry about them from time to time. Alas, for Omdir. Uh, alas. Alas. <laughs> alas, for Omdir. Okay, we've got some choices. Let's just take the gloves for now. I have a task for you. Okay, we need to travel to Combe. And oh. What road did you take, Frodo? The ring wraiths ride openly in the Shire, but there are places which are even more terrible and dangerous. Oh. If you choose the path I fear, search for the light in the darkness. Look at that big old beard. Oh man. Tom Bombadil. I can't wait. One of my favorite characters in uh, Fellowship of the Ring, the book. Oh man, I, lo I love the, their whole interaction uh, with him and, you know, being at his house and stuff. I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Look. What can I do for you? So we're in Combe now. We actually have a quest to turn in here to take care of a horse. Um, Hello there. I'm not going to bother with that right now, although it is a beautiful horse. Oh. Look at him. So majestic. Um, but we've got other stuff to do. We're going to take care of the epic quest while we're here. Um, so right back there is where Archa is, which is the town we were in originally. Um, in the intro area, you remember all this kind of stuff. Um, but we're, we got to go talk to Constable Underhill. The, the Common Waddle Inn. What a name. Okay. Constable Underhill. Lovely day, isn't it? Please, stay a moment. Okay, we, we need to investigate Skunkwood's old hideout. So let's a go. Lovely day, isn't it? Me and Mr. Underhill. Amdir's defeat shattered the back of the Black Walls, but pieces of the mystery remain unsolved. Okay. Goodness. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's very concerned. All manner of things could be living here now. Well, like what? What do you mean? Oh! Little Neeker Breakers. I mean, they're not so little. They're kind of big, actually. They're like almost the same size as me. But um, they're not too tough to take care of. Okay. Oh, I've been poisoned. That's okay. That's okay. As long as Constable Underhill isn't poisoned, I think we're okay. Let's get rid of this poison. There we go. Where did you get that key, Constable? Oh, man. Let's take these big bad bugs out. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Oh, of course, more bugs to take care of. Oh man, more of these guys, really? All right, I hope that was the last of them too, Constable, because I'm getting kind of sick of these insects. Oh look, Omdir was just the beginning. Constable, look over there. Okay, let's press on. I think we should probably sneak. Oh look, he's sneaking too. Oh, the two sneaky little hobbits. Oh, it's Scorgrim. The mightiest dwarf. This is your last chance. Oh no, never! That poor Blackwold. D 
deal with them. Oh no. Okay, let's take out these dour hands. Up to no good, as I've always said. I mean, who knew there were so many, like, bad dwarves out in the world? I thought dwarves were supposed to be, like, nice for the most part. Okay, I've protected Constable Underhill. I'll check on this poor man. <laughs> Mr. Blackwold, are you alright? Can't you leave me to my misery? You couldn't have come a moment earlier, could ye? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Angmar didn't like the prospect of us le leaving them. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. Uh, I got other stuff to do, though. Uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, look, a rat. I have no idea how he escaped this place. Well, he went through this door, obviously. There must be, like, some kind of secret passageway back here, right? I mean, I'm sure we can find it if we spend enough time looking for it. Right? Constable Just Underhill? A moment. Okay. Better go back to Bree. The rangers which once guarded the borders of the Shire have been scattered or slain. Frodo has left the Shire, but great perils await him in Bree. I am too late. Someone must find him before the Nazgul. Okay, Constable Underhill. How do you do? Oh, look at this. He's got a jacket. Purple jacket. <laughs> A hammer, some resilient trousers, which are green. I'll go ahead and take the the uh, the hammer because that's the most expensive. Might I speak with you a moment? And we'll head back to Strider. Look, we're we're getting teleported immediately. Oh, oh no! It's not the Hobbit door. Do you think they're gonna? You think I'm gonna get in trouble if I use this door? No. Let's just go in and see what happens. It's okay, guys. I I know I'm not a human. I'm just a hobbit. Uh, but I I thought I could use this door. Is it okay? I think it's okay. Looks like nobody cares at all. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to Strider. Hey, Strider, we're back. We must move quickly. They attacked the prancing pony. They were in search of the travelers I had been awaiting. I cannot tell you why they had such interest in my companions. I need your aid. Okay, we need to go talk to Halros's look-alike, Langlin, uh, to the north of Buckland. Okay, so we'll head back to Buckland. Um, man, there's still lots to do in Bree, but let's head back there for now. We'll at least keep up with the epic quest line. Alright guys, I've taken a very long <laughs> horse ride, pony ride actually, all the way back to the edge of the Shire. Look, right off there in the distance, you can see the Brandywine Bridge, and we're here with uh, Halros's doppelganger. Lenglin, who's uh, just having a, a nice relaxing sit down by the fire. Um, apparently he's got something to say. Greetings. Okay, he's been injured by the uh, Black Riders, the Nazgul. Um, Would you do something for me? Okay, he needs us to, to kill some birds. <laughs> apparently these birds have been bothering him. Look, they're all over the place over here. Oh man, let's sneak in here. Oh, these birds don't know how sneaky I can be, huh? Okay, a couple more. A couple more and we're good. Then Langlin will be satisfied. Uh-oh. They're really swarming us right now. Come on, Al. Pull through this. You can do this. Just stab him. Stab him right in the beak. There we go. How can I be of service? Okay, Langlin. Might I take a moment of your time? Apparently, the Nazgul stopped in Crick Hollow, so we need to go take a look at Crick Hollow, see if they've discovered anything about uh, Strider's little friends in Crick Hollow. Hopefully they didn't. Look how spooky. The old forest. Oh, we're going to be in there eventually. Uh, it's a very scary place. Um, not a lot of people go into the old forest, uh, and you'll see why eventually. Oh, look. I wonder if this was caused by the Nazgul. Look, they broke the fence, the sheep's out. Oh! Oh my gosh! Bessie! What are you doing? Look, she's on top of the hobbit hole. Oh no. Look. What are you gonna do with that? How do you think she got all the way up here? Oh, this is one of Bingo's cousins, apparently. Okay, if you think I'm gonna waste another carrot on you, you can forget it. Oh, she's very stubborn, Bessie is. Oh man. 
What a cow. Just living life. Not afraid of anything. Okay, here we are. Oh, look. Oh, no. The door. Oh. My favorite barrel has been smashed. And there's a black cloak laying on the doorstep. Look, their garden is all ruined. Look, the, the cabbage is smashed up. Oh, man. It's a bad. It's been a bad day, hasn't it, Fredegar? Dear me, what do you want? Oh, it sounds like crows. Oh, there they are. Look at them. Oh, here they come. It's okay, Fredegar. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Look, I'm not scared of these birds like you are. Okay, that's two down. Oh, there's more coming. Oh, here they come. All right, let's take him out. I did do it, didn't I? Look, that bird is levitating in the air. <laughs> Some flew off into the old forest. Oh, no. I hope they don't come back. Okay, we need to go let Lenglen know that we defeated some of the birds, uh, but some of them flew off into the old forest, which, uh, good riddance, honestly. They'll probably never make it out of there. Man, if I lived here, I would totally build, like, a like a tree fort up there. Like, like put a nice tree house, like, sticking out over the hedge. Oh, that would be awesome. Look at that beautiful shot of, of the edge of the Shire. Oh, man. I love this game sometimes. There's the old forest in the distance. Uh, look at this giant, like, decaying tower. Remnants of the old kingdom. Oh, look, there's a big, like, castle over there or something. Maybe we'll go explore that later. Okay, Langlin. Oh, let's not step in his fire. Smasher, come Greetings. on. Oh, are you kidding me? We have to go back to, <laughs> to Strider in Bree. Okay, um, this is probably a good place to stop, though. Next time, we'll head back to Bree. We'll talk to Strider, let him know what's going on. Uh, that Buckland uh, apparently was in danger, but the, the Black Riders have left, and we'll see what he has to say about that. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great night. Cheers! Cheers.